coming into bloom. The beauty of plants on display at the Royal Botanic Gardens queue. Now, for the first time, scientists have carried out a stock take of the world's flora, and it's highlighted some big gaps in our knowledge. One of the things we did in this report was to count how many plant species there are. And that was interesting, 391,000 we'd come up with, and that's addressing four different databases to come up with that figure. But this is just scratching the surface. There are thousands out there that we don't know about. But our tally of plants is growing. We've come here behind the scenes at Kew, where the latest new discoveries have been brought in. Botanists have been heading to far-flung corners of the world, searching through existing collections, and even trawling through pictures of plants on the internet and they're making new discoveries all of the time. This orchid was one of 2,000 plants found in 2015. New to was a 50 metre high tree in Gabon and an insect eating plant found growing in Brazil. But there are also threats and invasive species like Japanese knotweed are a major problem. Damaging the environment, they're difficult and costly to remove. The report now estimates that there are 5,000 different invasive plants around the world. Now that we've got this list and this number, it's certainly a bit like know your enemy. We, we know what we're dealing with. We can then look at them, what's, what's similar, what makes a good invasive, and how can we use that information to, uh, to, to have better management practices in place or recommendations how you deal with them. But while the public enjoy their close encounter with nature, conservationists warn that one in five species is under threat. This new report, though, will allow scientists to measure these changes to keep track of the future of our plants. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.